Hi, my name is Toby and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can play a sequence of sounds with only one button, one piano key or one pad. Um, the effect you're gonna need is called random. You find it under the MIDI files or MIDI effects, uh, random. Just drag and drop it on a MIDI clip, put a, the chance up to 100, the mode to alt and um, make sure the scale is on one. The choices will be the number of sounds you wanna play. So let's work with five for now. The next device you're gonna need is an empty instrument rack. Um, you find it under instrument and then instrument rack. Just drag and drop it there. You can open up the chain view and then the key selection and now press the button you want to use or the piano key or hit the drum e-pad or whatever and then you see around here uh, that if you press it um, again and again and again it changes five steps up five semitones and then it starts from the C th C3, which is uh, the key I'm pressing at the moment, again. The next step would be to uh, pick a few sounds or uh, samples or instruments from Ableton. You can choose every instrument from Ableton for that. Um, I prepared a few things um, in my user library already. And then you drag and drop the instruments in the instrument rack. I'm just gonna start with two for now. Um, and then you need to adjust um, the different chains with the different sounds in it to one of the notes which are triggered. So for example, I have two sounds now and when I'm pressing the <clears throat> C3 MIDI input. You can see in this chain where my uh, zone is selected, um, the MIDI gets through to the instrument which is in this chain. Of course you can add uh, more MIDI effects now as well, or audio effects to every chain or to every or to the whole instrument rack. So for example, I'm gonna add a note length to make the note long, the incoming note longer for the first thingy, and then I added um, a grain delay after the sound. So it's now gone only gonna be um, for this chain and if I look on my second chain, there is no audio effect. So, um, yeah, the notes get, get longer. Of course, you can rename this rack and save it. You could even select all um, with um, command A. And then you can um, group all the effects with command G or um, STRG G and then you would have the random in the beginning of the overall instrument rack. Um, you can rename the first rack and then save it in your user library. Just put it anywhere. So if I open up a new MIDI clip and then drag and drop it here. Everything's gonna be saved and um, as I build it. Okay, that's the tutorial for today. Have fun and see you later.